East Tennessee State shocked the FCS two weeks ago, defeating Kennesaw State in double overtime to open the season. The Bucks headed out to Bristol Motor Speedway this afternoon for their first Southern Conference game since being reinstated with a shot to start the year 2-0. 13,863 fans at Bristol Motor Speedway for this game. The Bucks considered 30-point underdogs heading into this one. The Catamounts wasting no time. To Trez Newsom getting into the end zone from 12 yards out for the second of his three touchdowns today. WCU up 21-3 in the second. Just before the half, the Bucks start to wake up. Austin Heron hitting Vincent Lowe, reaching over the goal line for the two-yard touchdown. Bucks heading into the breakdown 21-10. to Third quarter, Bucks picking up right where they left off. Heron finding Keith Cuff in the end zone for the 12 yard touchdown bucks down just four late in the third quarter herring again going to the air and this time finding matt thompson for the two yard touchdown etsu taking the lead up 24 to 21 and putting this game away with just over a minute left jawan stinson fighting his way into the end zone for the score etsu taking home the trophy and tire beating western carolina in their first southern conference game 34 31 news channel 11 sports director kenny hawkins was at the speedway and has more Thanks a lot, Kane. In front of a record crowd for ETSU of almost 14,000 fans, the Bucks took a victory lap here at the Bristol Motor Speedway by winning 34-31 over Western Carolina. To go from where they started when we first started football two years ago to where we are right now is absolutely amazing because we beat a good football team today. Oh, it's huge. It's almost hard to put in words, you know, the feeling everybody has. It's just through the past three years we've been here just going hard at it through adversity, through all the ups and downs this program has had, you know, to see this, to see us start off 2-0, you know, that's phenomenal. The Bucks fell behind in this game 21-3 but then scored 18 unanswered points. The quarterback was just saying, we good, we're good, we're good. We, we've been here before, we're good. So, you know, then that carries on. Everybody's saying, the coaches are saying that. It comes from the top to the bottom. I mean, everybody was just saying we're good. Winning despite being a 30-point underdog, the Box had a message for the rest of the league. We're here. <laughs> I, <laughs> people are going to take us a little bit more serious. We're not just the, the new guys on the block who are all young and went 2-9 and nine last year, I think. People are going to start to realize, hey, you know, this team, they're young and they're spunky. Um, they're going to continue to work hard. They're going to play hard, and um, you know, they're, they're going to give you all they got. So the Buccaneers are now 2-0 for the first time since 1999. In that year, they went 4-0. From their new home here at the Bristol Motor Speedway, I'm Kenny Hawkins, News Channel 11 Sports.